Thank you, Lord. Thank you, for Abba Father, for your goodness, your grace and love towards each and every one of your sons and daughters. And right now, as we go into the word, Holy Spirit, I acknowledge you as the greatest teacher and revealer of truth. I ask that you think through my mind and speak through my mouth and let your words go forth, not in my own human understanding, but in demonstration of your spirit and power. And the faith of your people will rest in you and your power. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. All right. So today, message from above, <laughs> from our Heavenly Father, is enjoy the blessing of a fertile field covered with the dew of heaven as we draw near to kiss our Abba Father. Ah, have you all kissed Abba Father before? What happened to Rachel? Eh? <laughs> Where she, I wanted to ask her, have you kissed your daddy before? Yeah, today we will learn a secret here. <laughs> yeah, so it, we know that you know God has always loved us, you know, and uh, very come close to us, send Jesus. But today we're going to see what happens when we draw near to kiss our Abba Father, enjoying all this this special blessing. All right, okay, let's go into the word. Genesis 27, 11 to 12. Jacob and Jacob said to Rebekah, his mother, so we have a Rebekah here, will be soon become a mother too. <laughs> Look, Esau, my brother, is a hairy man and I'm a smooth-skinned man. So the story behind this, uh, verses be before this, is that Rebekah has got, Jacob and Rebekah has got two sons and who are they is uh, uh yeah uh sorry not jacob and rebecca isaac and rebecca correct the, the the father has got two sons one is called esau the elder one and the younger one is jacob all right so time for blessing so the jewish uh, culture and tradition right before the father father is getting old all right, he wants to now give the blessing to the children. Okay, so the blessing is not so much, although they have the physical inheritance, the blessing more that they, they really long for is the blessing of the words, okay, from their uh, father. So as the eldest, uh, Jacob is the younger one, so Esau is the eldest one, and they have in the Jewish uh, custom, the elder one has a bigger blessing, all right? You call the birthright, okay? So, but the younger one is Jacob. <laughs> Jacob wanted that elder blessing, the birthright blessing, bigger blessing from the father to pronounce over him. So you, you understand today, the, the word of God is so powerful. The blessings that are pronounced will, will manifest into the natural realm. So, but he has to he wanted to trick the father <laughs> because father a little bit old and then can't see properly so and then jacob was the uh, rebecca's favorite son <laughs> being the younger one so one is uh, esau the brother the elder brother is a hairy man and for jacob he's the smooth skin one okay so here is what they did and rebecca uh, also help him out, <laughs> the mother. Perhaps my father will feel me and I shall seem to be a deceiver to him. I shall bring a curse on myself and not a blessing. But his mother said to him, let your curse be on me, my son. Only obey my voice and go and get them for me. Okay, but today don't say this thing eh? because it actually happened. <laughs> but it was in the Old Testament. And he went and got them and brought them to his mother and his mother made savory food oh chili fish <laughs> spicy food right curries and all that such as his father loved 
so the wife normally know what the husband like to eat, right? <laughs> and vice versa. So uh, what uh, is it? A man's heart is through the stomach, is it? <laughs> so you can see in the story, very true, right? So God didn't create us and uh, didn't bother about our physical. Mm -mm. Then Rebecca took the choice clothes of her elder son Esau, which was still with her in the house, and put them on Jacob, her younger son. And she put the skins of the kids of goats on his hands and on the smooth part of his neck. So now Jacob will feel a bit hairy, okay? <laughs> yeah. So then she gave the savory food and the bread. Ah, very clever, huh? So you want to make someone happy? Uh, cook chili fish. <laughs> Yes, give them the food that they like, right? And the bread, especially Rachel, right? See how her testimony, oh, so much bakwa. And she had, which she had prepared into the hand of her son, Jacob. So you imagine, Rachel, this is bakwa. <laughs> wow, she's so happy, Andy, she's imagining. Okay, so she went to his father and said, my father, look at this, huh? this is a father-son relationship. And he said, here I am. And then he asked because he can't see. His vision was uh, not so good at time. Who are you, my son? And Jacob said to his father, ah, he was the uh, uh, conniver, the, the deceiver, right? I am Esau, your firstborn. I have done just as you told me. Please arise, sit and eat of my game that your soul may bless me. It means he went hunting and you know so he tell lies uh, but you see how good god is right yeah because why earlier another scripture said that god loved jacob mm, more than esau because why ah because jacob treasured his spiritual birthright so when we treasure our spiritual birthright it pleases our heavenly father that's why we are all here this morning right because we are his sons and daughters but isaac said to his son this is the father how is it that you have found it so quickly my son and he said because the lord your god brought it to me oh, <laughs> so you know that isaac is a godly man all right fierce god the god of abraham isaac and later jacob yeah so he said your god lah, bring for me one Ooh. so now rachel you know how to <laughs> tackle your father more <laughs> your god okay and isaac said to jacob what did the father say to the son please come near that i may feel you my son whether you are really my son esau or not because that blessing cannot be given to uh, as just anybody it has to be given to the sons yeah the sons and the firstborn so very important must be a son so jacob went near to isaac his father and he felt him and said the voice is jacob's voice which is the he know it's not the esau one but the hands are the hands of esau very confusing huh? <laughs> okay poor father <laughs> okay mother and son come together to trick the father but it was not for millions of dollars or anything it was for a spiritual blessing a pronounce pronoun to pronounce the spiritual blessing on the firstborn they did all this and he did not recognize him because his hands were hairy like his brother Esau's hands so he blessed him but before it continued he asked again <laughs> because you know he must have doubted a bit then he said are you really my son esau and he said i am and then he said bring it near to me bring what the bakwa <laughs> yeah bring it near and i will eat of my son's game so that my soul may bless you let's see what happened so he brought it near to him so Jacob brought near to Isaac the father and he ate and he brought him some more wine 
and he drank, right? So now this season, eating and drinking, right? But this is very important, this particular incident. Then his father Isaac said to him, so eat already, very happy, satisfied. Come near now and kiss me, my son. So he haven't really pronounced the full blessing yet. After eating, we're happy, so you need to have, make God happy, right? So how do we make God happy? Huh? Uh, uh, yes, that's one. And what else that makes God happy, the Bible tells? Hug. <laughs> uh, cheerful giver, yeah? Because he said that he's very happy when he sees cheerfully, okay? So, all right. So his father Isaac said to him, Come near and kiss me, my son. Hmm. And he came near, close, and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his clothing. When you kiss your daddy, is it from a distance? You have to go near, right, to kiss. Can you kiss anyone? That's called flying kiss. <laughs> from far one. But here, the father said, come near. So when we really kiss someone, you go near, right? So even the doctor said that the nearest you can get to someone, this is my son told me one during the COVID time, right? Where you can get COVID very easily if you are very near to the other person, right? So he said that uh, he was very close to someone, uh, very near because they were rubbing uh, his head due to headache. And the, the, the doctor said, most likely you will get a COVID, but that time he protected him and Jeremy, my son said, uh, being that near is next to kissing. <laughs> kissing is the closest. So, and he smelled the smell of his clothing and blessed him and said, surely the smell of my son is like the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed. Any revelation from here? <laughs> in the spiritual today what clothing do we wear the robe of righteousness yeah so when we come near to god very near to him he smells the righteousness of his son jesus it's no more his smell, the dirty smell of our sin. The smell of, our, of the righteousness of Jesus is the clothing, not the skin smell, <laughs> the body smell. Oh man, doesn't smell nice. All right. The, our, when we come to God, close to him, with the smell of Jesus' righteousness as our clothing. Wow, it is beautiful. And what the smell becomes? It becomes like the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed. The righteous are blessed, right? The righteous in God. When we take upon Jesus' righteousness, not our own righteousness, right? It is like a field which the Lord has blessed bless yeah jesus is the most blessed man in heaven and on earth right and today we put on that righteousness so when the father smell it it is like a field okay let's continue which the lord has blessed therefore and then he begin then find, then the father pronounced that blessing on the firstborn which went to jacob therefore May God give you of the dew of heaven, of the fatness, the richness of the earth, but don't worry, won't increase in any more uh, size. <laughs> this is richness, okay? Good fat, not bad fat. And plenty, abundance of rain and bountiful new wine. So we're going to see a little bit of what all this means, all right? Uh, a dew of heaven to be reminded again what is all that that is the blessing of the firstborn so we are sons and daughters jesus being the firstborn of the new creation and we all are the sons and uh, brothers and sisters all right <clears throat> okay first let's lead, why kiss okay the word kiss all right when uh, jacob 
uh, Isaac asked uh, Jacob to come near and kiss me, kiss him. All right, it has the it's nasha with the shin and the kuf and the nun, the new spirit man, the new spirit life with the power of the shin. It means to put together, to touch gently, to handle, to kindle or burn, to catch fire or burn. So in the natural, it, it is a burning of the human passion, right? When you kiss, okay? But it's also a spiritual thing. When we kiss the father, okay, I'll show you how to kiss the father, all right? We'll come to it. But then in that kissing, there is fire, okay? God's fire, holy fire. And we see in the Greek, all right, Jesus, when he came, he said, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in True, okay? So the, in the spirit is your new spirit man. Okay, we worship in tongues, in our new spirit language, and in truth of the word of what God says, who God says he is, and who God, uh, the Bible say who we are in Christ. So in the Greek, the word worship is proskinu, and it means to kiss towards. To kiss towards one in token of reverence all right meaning to cross to prostrate to worship to adore that's why when we receive tongues why it uh, the bible says that in tongues you speak adoration praises all right to god that are that we are limited in our uh, known languages so what is worship Kissing towards. So when you worship, who you worship this morning? Yes, God, our Father. That means you are kissing towards. That's why Jesus said, we do not worship God with just our mouth of words, but our heart is far from me. So where, which part of you can worship God? The new heart. Yes, the new spirit man. So it's not just some words that we say is from our new spirit man. God only accept that worship from your new spirit man. And so he gave us the new language. And as you, you allow the Holy Spirit to take over your new spirit man, okay, to sing forth in tongues in a language that surpasses even your human understanding, it is you are kissing in the spirit realm. You are drawing near to God. You are kissing him. Okay, prostrating, this is the, the meaning because the kiss, to kiss someone, you have to be very near. That's why uh, God said in Hebrews, come near, draw near to me. Right? Come near to the throne of grace and mercy. And today, we can do that. We can worship, not from afar, but God, Jesus said he, he came to seek those who worship, worshippers. Those who worship him in spirit and in truth means those who will go near to him. Right? Just now in the song, one of the songs says, God is raising an army of worshippers. Right? Where our spirit is drawing near to him. We are willing to draw near to him. We are willing to spiritually kiss. That is it as a meaning of drawing near, going close. Other people may think, I am what you're doing, you know. But in our spirit, we are drawing near. Then when you kiss someone, you are so close to that person, it's easy to hear everything that he said, and he will reveal to you his secrets. He will reveal to you, right? When you want your, a favor from your dad, you go there and kiss him, right? <laughs> and then at the same time, Rachel, you whisper to the dad's ears. Just now you said it over the mic though, multiply. <laughs> ah, and then you declare it to be multiplied so that he can give you more right ah, okay so this is the closeness of the father and son right and to the extent of kissing okay it, it means just very very near 
Okay, very, very near. Go draw near to your heavenly father. Then you can hear him whisper because the heavenly father always in the Bible say he speak with a still, small voice. He doesn't shout. <laughs> Only the thunder thunders his power. But when you want to speak to his children, Bible say he speak in a still, small voice. Right? That's the voice of Abba Father. We have to be so quiet and so near to him. Then we can see, we can hear him. That's why Jesus seated at the right hand of the Father. Then today we can all have that place where we can be so close to him. And the closest we get is when we worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay? And then you will hear all his whispers to you. The kings, so this dew, the blessing of the dew, all right, the, the, the fertile field that will be covered with the dew of heaven. This dew uh, uh, represents a few things, okay? The king's wrath is as the roaring of a lion, but his favor is as dew upon the grass. So this dew is like a king's favor. You like to have a king's favor? Why? Uh? Why you want king one? Powerful? What else do you... Huh? Oh, you are authority for what? <laughs> huh? Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, king is very rich. He owns everything. Okay. So, of course, today our, uh, intentions have all have been purified. Okay. So don't be afraid. We, we are not greedy anymore. We got a new spirit. But then God wants us to recognize that he is king. Okay. A king has everything. That's why the outpouring of his blessings, even material blessings, right? If a king come, you'll see, there is no second-hand thing on him. <laughs> there is gold, silver, precious stones. He is a king. That means he owns a kingdom. He has authority to authorize his people to bring more bakwa to you, even how expensive it is, because he is king, a king's favor. So we have Jesus. We haven't. We have not seen much Jesus as king or our father as king, possessor of heaven and earth. But notice he is king. So he owns everything and he is super duper rich. Ah, so he can at any time tell his servants and angels to release those finances, whatever desires that you have, yeah, to make everything uh, available for you. Yeah, and there's more blessing to come, more and more. Yeah, even the government can only bless, uh, bless to open the government's hands to bless Elijah, his son. Sons and daughters. That's when just now I felt the anointing so strong. They are sons and daughters of a king who is rich. So don't see yourself as poor, right? The favor, right? Queen Esther. Yeah, if Esther, young Esther is here. Queen Esther had the favor of a king king he had a she had the favor of a king that's why she was made queen okay so there is a place for other things like authority over sickness and all that but when you talk about a king right it is to realize that you have his favor the king can give you anything if he likes you <laughs> right if he don't like you it's another story uh. <laughs> he will send you to the dungeon but if he likes you that means favor favor is really like you know special uh special liking right to the extent that he will give you more than the others you have king solomon is a king yeah king david is a king Today we are made kings and priests, but we need to see Jesus as a king. So you don't need to afraid to have those desires right, of anything on this earth, okay? Because he wants to give it to you as a king. So that is the dew. It's like a dew upon the grass. Why? Dew is forever there, every morning. 
Have you woke up? Uh, uh, Abigail go out to a lot. Have you woke up any morning and there's no deal? Ah, always have. So always have the favor of the king. You have been clothed in his righteousness. You smell good. <laughs> and you always, when you come near to him, that's why devotion, even we may not have the corporate devotion this Wednesday, continue to have your devotion. It's the time where you draw near to the king. And you will see it's the favor is like dew. Always have one. Never run out one. Your father always loves you. Heavenly father as a, an earthly father. Yeah, Rachel? <laughs> always have like the dew. Right? Always have. Always means all, all the time. Whether you behave well or not behave well. That is the favor of the king. Like a dew upon the grass. So all of you have? The favor of a king? Only when you are good? <laughs> All the time, right? Always have because you are his? Ah, sons and daughters. So the favor is always on you. So the deal in the Greek, uh, in the Hebrew, we learn a bit uh, during our Hebrew lessons, is tov, t uh, the letter tav and not tav, it's a letter what to, what is this letter? Okay, Tova. Uh, and the letter Lamet. Okay, it comes becomes Tau. Alright, it's the dew, the night mist as a covering vegetation. Okay, Talal to cover over. So dew covers over a certain field. Ah, Ted, Ted, yeah. <laughs> I so forgot the, the name already. That letter. It's a letter Ted, right? It speaks of the goodness of God. The goodness of God. Just remember this. The goodness of God will cover us all the days of our life, just like dew. So if you can get up early enough to see the grass, then you can see and remember. Abigail will always remember. She, she wake up early, likes to go to the outside. And that dew will always remind you of Abba Father's faithfulness, goodness of a king's favor, covering you like beams. Behold, so another aspect of the dew, okay? Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity as one. It is like the precious oil upon the head running down on the beard. There's an anointing flowing down, running down the edge of Aaron, the garments, and it is also like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion. Today, the church is uh, likened to Zion, a mountain of Zion, the people. For there, the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. So you are already covered with the dew of a king, the favor of a king. And then you have a commanded blessing when the people of God come together as one. Right? It is like the dew so like all of us coming together all right without uh, any division or what among us we come together as one body wow the promise of god is a commanded blessing i think i shared that before but there's always more revelation so it's already commanded you know if you are in an army when the general or the captain give command they don't take it back <laughs> the command what command has God given? Blessing. Life forevermore. Our host, captain of the host, right? In the Bible, Jesus, the captain of the host, an army. He has commanded the blessing on you, Elijah, Abigail, Rachel, Joseph, Hannah, Ruth, Magdalene, Rebecca, uh, Cheng Lan, uh, Hui In, In. Right? When he has commanded that blessing, he doesn't take it back. So just know what blessing it is. It's life. It's not just living, existing, but it's life that is full of blessing, bubble, joy. Right? Each, each week we come together, we can testify of the goodness of God. That's the dew. A commanded blessing. So when Abigail, you look at the dew again, it's a king's favor, it's a commanded blessing. No one can change that command, can nullify it because the word has gone forth. Blessing forevermore, life forevermore. 
Okay, Exodus, I have heard the complaints of the children of Israel, another aspect of the deal. Speak to them. So this incident is about the children of Israel. At twilight, you shall eat meat while they were in the wilderness. And in the morning, you shall be filled with bread. And you shall know that I am the Lord your God. So it was that quails come up at evening and covered the camp. And in the morning, the dew lay all around the camp. First, in the morning, there was dew all around the camp. So what happened after the dew is there? Anyone? <laughs> mm. The dew covered, when the layer of dew lifted there on the surface of the wilderness was a small round substance as fine as frost on the ground. And when the children of Israel saw it, they said to one another, Apa ini? <laughs> What is it? What is it? What is it actually? In Hebrew, it's mana. <laughs> They don't know what is it because never seen it before. It came from heaven after the dew lifted. So the dew come down first. Then the manna followed the dew. See, the favor of God pronouncing upon the children of God, the sons and daughters, receive the spiritual blessing of the commanded blessing of the word pronounced. Right? As we meditate, we are pronouncing the blessing again over our lives. After the dew lifted, then the manna appeared. Yeah, so you see the manifestation will come when we keep declaring right, the blessing of God through the word. You need to do meditation conversion now? <laughs> yeah, remember the year of pay Gimel? Before Gimel, it's the pay. Speak first, speak forth the blessing. And then after the deal lifted up, yeah, the mana datang. <laughs> Look at this, mana. Actually, in Hebrew, it's mana. It is ah, your favorite letter, mem. Rule favorite letter, Anna. Noon. All right, the ending noon, so fit noon. So blessing, mana, right, like rivers, mana, the bread from heaven that fed the Israelites for one year, one year two years, three years. I said, ah, that Rebecca also not check 40. <laughs> so can you imagine 40 years, right? They don't have to worry about food. <laughs> yeah. Every morning after the dew comes down, the faithfulness of God cover the whole wilderness, the place where they are. And then next thing, mana appeared, food appeared. Means what is it? Beautiful, right? Abundance. For they did not know what it is. And Moses said to them, this is the bread which the Lord has given you to eat. And he orders you to gather about two liters for each person in your family. That should be more than enough. Must tell Rachel. <laughs> okay, more than enough, huh? <laughs> right? God give them more than enough, and they were told not to collect for the next day. Okay, but the, the, the meaning that we always depend on Him day by day, and that is the faithfulness of God as dew falls down day by day, night mist, and then morning. Deal, right? This is our faithfulness of God because we are sons and daughters, we can trust Him. So, this deal turns into speaks of bread. And He humbled you, allowed you to hunger, fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that He might make you the man. He made you know that man shall not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the lord the pay the year of 18 in the 80s pay gimel and the mouth yeah so we today we not live just by roti chanai uh, or bread or rice although that will be provided because it came it came know that first we live by every word that means our spirit man yeah will live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the lord amen so that deal is your provision you don't have to ever worry about provision ever again 
when you see dew, then you say, Mana, my food coming is coming. <laughs> Just go and meditate and eat spiritual food first. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Okay, so next one. The the continue with the blessing. The dew is like, and then you have riches or fatness of the earth. First, the dew had to cover the field, and it's a fertile field. Okay. This is what it means. Look at this. The richness or fatness of the earth, which is mem again. <laughs> Shin. Mem again. And noon. All right. Wow. Fatness. The fat piece. Just like when we do the suyo, right? We want the fat piece, right? Okay, when are you going to do again? <laughs> All right. Have more than enough for every one of us, okay? The fat piece. The fertile place. Richly prepared food. Oil. Olive oil. God wants to give not only just normal oil. Olive oil. All right? The best oil. It it means this word riches in mashman, mashman, mashmon. All right? Mashmon. Okay. Fertile spots or places. Fat is fatness, but usually a rich dish. Wow. Chinese New Year. You all add a lot of dishes, right? <laughs> so, Fatness, rich dish, fertile field, a robust man. Oh, just like Elijah, robust. <laughs> in the when we do our Daniel fast, right? In the book of Daniel, uh, message version, after he he did the he, he you know he ate with uh, no meat for the 21 days, the people in the uh, king's palace they saw that described him as a robust, <laughs> very stout very healthy right fat to shine very shining also because when you have oil you will shine so last week we talked about shining right with the light coming upon you so or not only the light the light brings forth provision brings forth dew brings forth oil <laughs> so when some people put oil and then it become very shining right yeah so we have olive oil okay all these blessings from god that cause us to shine so this is the from this earth this earth has been blessed right god blessed this earth remember the creation yeah he blessed the earth for adam and eve for man to enjoy so it doesn't mean that god doesn't want us to enjoy anything in this world you can see from the testimony of rachel right god gave her abundance of bakwa for her to enjoy all right yeah so it doesn't mean that when we serve God, then we won't have anything on this earth to enjoy. Yeah, He wants the flesh, our body part, is to enjoy this world. At the same time, we are not worshipping the world, right? That's why our tithing and offering helps us to get rid of that fear. And then He pours in, we enjoy, and then we can give away without fear. But our spirit enjoy God, the presence of God, right? Where? He, we kiss him and worship him and all this and then he blesses even more he keep on saying roof roof bless roof bless roof you know as you kiss bless this uh abigail bless 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 rebecca you know so he's always saying that when we are going near to him okay so this fatness of the earth represent it means uh, in in hebrew it means a fertile field so I chose for the title uh, for this message, right? Enjoy the blessings of a fertile field. So it's important, right? Fertile soil or fertile field. Field means, yeah, there's so much that's going to grow there. Fertile means what? When you are a farmer, Elijah here is the real farmer. <laughs> when you go and plant or you have your land, oh okay did you hear that all right elijah said fertile field is already fertile you just put water on it no need to do anything right yeah no need to put fertilizer and all that it's fertile field so where is the fertile field our life god has given us a new spirit man right it's already fertile it means it's good soil 
Good soil, just put water only. Ah, Elijah say one. <laughs> yeah, the feel, the heart, your spirit man is already fertile. It's a new heart. It's not a stubborn heart. Remember, he took away our stubborn heart. He took away the heart of stone and he gave us a new heart of flesh, which is fertile. It's good soil. So that's why you only put water, which is the water of the word and the Holy Spirit raining, pouring on this soil. So all of you have received this fertile field, this fertile heart in you, that when God's word come, it will grow. That word will grow and multiply and then will manifest into the natural realm. So you will have great health, everything good, fertile. I like that, right? Just put water on me. <laughs> Just put water on me. And then when you plant seed inside, you have the seed of God's word, right? So you plant seed inside, there will be revelation, okay? Rebecca will receive revelation from that word of God, from the seed, and you will react upon the revelations, and then that soil that will be able to bear food. The seed will grow, the seed will not fall on dry places, will not fall on the uh, concrete, right? It will fall on good soil, yeah? And then we begin to do what God say and experience the seed grow into fruits. New wine. Uh, this one is not the Zayin. Okay, so in Hebrew, there are many Hebrew words that have been translated. English word the same, but Hebrew is different. So this new, this new one is not Zayin. It is Tirosh, Tirosh. Okay? With the tough, yud, rash, and the shin. What does this mean? In the sense of expulsion, must be fresh grape juice squeezed out by implication fermented or sweet wine. So it's, it means have a more meaning of squeezed out, being pressed. So again, it speaks of to occupy, all right, by driving out, it comes from this yarash, yarash by driving out previous tenants and possessing in their place, by implication to seize, to rob, or to inherit and expel and impoverish. This word wine, new wine, is very interesting. It means when we drink this new wine, we got power to occupy, drive out the devils, <laughs> all those lies that have been inside our minds before, trying to take over our inheritance but now remember a year of victory glorious victory ah this year we have we drink more wine <laughs> okay no not the <laughs> uh, not the hello okay uh, the anointing of the wine of the spirit as he serve you and you have the power by the holy spirit to drive out all these previous tenants don't let them stay anymore in your house they never pay their rent or so <laughs> So all this wrong thinking, drive them out with the wine. That's why when you laugh in the anointing, it drives up all those uh, demons of self-consciousness or fear and all that and you're just drunk. Then you can inherit. Ah, that's why Rebecca laughs so much and then she begins to inherit. <laughs> drive out all these, non all these former tenants right? that has been robbing us. Now we rob them back, we plunder the Egyptian, just like the Israelites did. No more fear of lack, yeah? no more fear of giving, of tithing, no more fear. Because we have the favour of the king, El Elyon, possessor of heaven and earth. And when we drink wine, we are inheriting, ah, occupying back our plots of land that belong to us. That's why the the blessings keep coming one after another because each time you're under the anointing and the word what happened in the spirit you are chasing all these former tenants out <laughs> yeah the the devils are fleeing from each one of you right in the holy spirit power feast there'll be more wine will be served <laughs> right by the holy spirit and you begin to inherit cease jesus was pressed out right as the 
uh, the, the vine, vine press like that. He is the vine, right? We are the branches. So at the cross, it, it was pressed out so that today we can drink of the new wine and inherit. Look at this, possess, succeed, utterly inherit, dispossess the devil, enjoy. Yeah, enjoy, okay? Begin to enjoy this new life that God has given us. Drink the wine. Don't be afraid. Don't care who is looking at you. Just drink this new wine. Just know that when you are drunk in the spirit, what are you doing? Chasing out what's happening. The devil chasing out the Holy Spirit, is chasing out previous tenants, <laughs> helping you to get rid of self-consciousness and all those fears and inheriting. You seize it. But it help. It is helped by the Holy Spirit. It's not even your own effort. Okay. And now the promise, or the blessings, the prophecies of blessings. Now in this period, since you began to build, and when I received this, I just feel it's for beautiful ashes. Since we began, you know, not I alone, all of you here began to build together this ministry, this church of Jesus, what happened? I am not to the remnant of these people as in the former days, says the Lord of hosts. For there shall, there, in this place, in this period of time, right, that we have begun to build the house of God, we've begun to build this ministry. The seed shall produce peace and prosperity. All right, our seed, right? The word shall produce. It will be productive because this place is fertile land, right? God has commanded the blessing. So the seed, whether it is the seed of the word or the seed of our finances that we sow, is going to bring forth, yeah, you say fertile, right? So it produce peace. You all have enjoyed the peace. No worries. Beautiful, right? Many people in the world look for peace. And here, our seed will produce peace and prosperity. Kong hei fat choi. The world only hope to experience it without Jesus. But we have it like the dew. Every day, every night, right? This peace and prosperity is ours. The vine shall yield her fruit. So, when we are that field, the seed is planted into our lives. And then what will happen? We come, there is bear fruit. Okay? There will be fruit. The vine, Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. We will have fruit. The ground shall give its increase. So fruit will have two kinds of fruit. The fruit of the spirit as well as the real fruits for blessing. We have to eat as much. There today got pomelo. <laughs> yeah, my favorite, one of my favorite fruits. Right? Pomelo abundance. The ground shall give its increase. Yeah, no more can the devil rob you, spoil your, uh, no, no, uh, what, no increment on that. No more. It will be promotion, will be increase. All these blessings are coming. This ground that we, we are in will be increase blessings. The heavens shall give their due, and I will cause the remnant of these people to inherit. When we drink the wine, right? We inherit and possess. No more stand outside the promised land and look and say, wow, we are like grasshoppers. <laughs> they got giants. No, you will dispossess all the giants and possess all these wonderful blessings of god peace there'll always be peace in your home in your heart prosperity whoa fruits increase increment not decrement <laughs> all right will be coming your way heavens due so this is what god wants us to possess we are coming into the prom we have come we have walked into the promised land all right now god wants us to enjoy all this yeah Year of victory, right? <clears throat> Through the drinking more spiritual wine, eh? <laughs> Holy Spirit wine. So the last verse, as we confess this together, right? Having understand a little bit more of deal of heaven, there will be even more revelation to come. The year of the paid gimel, the richness of the earth, and the abundant harvest of grain and bountiful new wine. The bountiful means plenty abundant 
Right? There is abundant blessings and wine and oil in the presence of God. In here, the Lord has blessed it. So let's all say this together. Thank you, Abba Father, that in Christ, my life is like a fertile field covered with the dew of heaven, the richness of the earth, and the abundant harvest of grain and bountiful new wine. Amen. Okay, so declare this, all right, every day of your life. Just speak it out, yeah, like the dew, after the dew, the manna comes in. Or exactly what you say will happen because we are his sons and daughters. Okay? Praise the Lord. Yeah? Enjoy all this in your life. Dew of heaven. Fertile. No more. No more stubborn heart. All that God took away already. Right? It is a beautiful feel. Amen? Your life has changed. A new season of a blessing upon blessing as we receive all this dew of heaven. Heaven open our field fertile. We also open our hearts to Him because He is our very precious Abba Father who loves us. So, you all know how to kiss Him? <laughs> go near Him, right? Every time you go near, something here He throw down for you. <laughs> you kiss Him on the right cheek, the left cheek, when we worship Him, right? And when we draw near to Him. So, can you imagine this year? Of pay Gimel 5783. Yeah, you know what? And then, you know, I just want to share another te a testimony, right? Really, God has this 5783 for us. Yeah, because I went to the, uh, the, the, the phone shop with my son. He was changing phone. And I also felt to change, I wanted to change my number a long time because it was a previous number and there were a lot of uh, spam calls inside disturbing because due to the previous owner. So I said, okay, I will change. But I told the Maxis guy, this time, please give me a brand new, brand, brand new. I remind him many times, brand new number, new one. Then uh, I thought he would just at random give me. A, then he said, is there any number that you like? <laughs> then I said, oh, can choose. Uh. He said, yeah, you just say what you, you like. Uh. Immediately, the number 5783 came to my mind. Then I said, 5783? Oh, then he ran his computer for very fast and then he said, okay, these are the numbers. Uh, 5783 got two, the ending one. Wow. <laughs> yeah, God, huh? Okay, so I took one. That's why my number changed with the 5783 at the back, which is the year of pay gimel. All right? It's just another confirmation that the Lord wants us all to be so blessed in this year of pay gimel. Yeah? Of course, uh, uh, I think Elsa said the, the church uh, bought four digit. <laughs> okay, but we understand the whole meaning of it, right? This 5783 is a year of great blessing. So where he even tell us, right, the dew of heaven is on all of our lives, each one of our lives, every day, faithfulness, blessing upon blessing. Therefore, and we were going to dispossess all the, all the lies and the devil trying to rob you. Yeah? As we receive, we keep giving. Uh, give and it shall be given to you. Press down, shaken together, running over, shall man put into your bosom. bosom. <laughs> Two times go bang <laughs> to get money, is it? <laughs> yeah. So, amen. Let's enjoy the blessings. God wants us to enjoy. Right? He is a father who is happy when his children are happy. So let's receive those blessings with gratefulness and thankfulness to our Father. Okay.